Yeah. 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 Hey everybody, it's 4 p.m. It's also Tweet Tap time where we follow everyone so you don't have to. We try. I'm your host, Mike Falzona. Over here is Coffee Girl, the co-host. We wire. Stay wire. And we have for you the top five writers on Twitter. Starting at five, longtime writer Margaret Atwood. She tweets, this is amazing. Eagle owl flying towards the camera at a thousand frames per second. That's so many frames per second. Give thanks that you are not a mouse. I give thanks every day that I'm not a mouse, mostly because I'm lactose intolerant. Somebody hit me. They love cheese. Either way, do yourself a favor and check out this crazy owl video because it'll make you esh your pants. Yeah, it will. And uh, birds are scary as f Yeah. Speaking of animals, number four is New York Times best-selling author Harlan Coban. Why does no one ever tweet cute pictures of their pets? Question mark, question mark. Stop being so shy, exclamation point. Fine, I'll start. And then there's a picture of a dog hanging out with a sock underneath what can only be a couch or a futon. Number three, freelance writer Maud Newton. She tweets, Every page of Massimo Vignelli's 1970s design manual for the New York City subway system. I looked at this yesterday, and then I tweeted it yesterday, because it's strangely beautiful. Take a look for yourself. Especially if you're really into typography and sh** like that, which I is. Number two goes to John Green. Best Easter egg ever. Using Chrome, go to dftba.com and press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Awesome job, Sam Rudge. Giving a little back to the viewers. It's like my grandma always used to say. If you're gonna do tweet tap, make it interactive as f She died years before the show came out. <laughs> a very forward thinking woman. Number one goes to Will Wheaton. Will is an actor and an author of many books, including Sunken Treasure, The Happiest Days of Our Lives, and Just a Geek. He tweets. Just realized that I am discussing genital colloquialisms with half a million people at once. I have been to the future, and it is really weird. Well, that's what happens when you discuss your ding-dangs with strangers. Keep ding your privates private. Yeah, private. That's if you were saying it to someone in the army. I hit my hand on the way down. Yeah, you did. Thank you so much for joining us for this special Writing Things Down episode of Tweet Tap. My name has been Mike Falzone. This is the Coffee Girl. We wire. Stay wired. Thank you so much just for being here. I'm not sure what tomorrow is, but I do know that we'll see you on it. I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday, and I hope you watch most, if not all of them. All, if not most of them. Just please, watch all of them. Please watch the videos. They're funny. Please? They're okay. Please? He's not that funny. Please? Stop begging. Please? Stop begging. What do you really do with your pinky? What is the what is the pinky's purpose? I think it's just so to be sidekick to the brain. Pinky the brain. What are we gonna do tonight, Brian? Same thing we try to do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Did you ever watch that? Cartoon? I did. I watched the shit out of that cartoon. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs>